Now here's the Radiation Network's um, monitoring map for Japan and as you can see up here they only have one station recording in Sapporo recording at 10 CPM. Now this records all ambient radiation. There is no differentiation made between ionizing radiation and naturally occurring radiation. But are we to believe that the radiation counts as you'll see in Arizona, California, and several miles out to sea west of LA are three to four times higher than the readings being reported on this citizen reporting network than they are in Sapporo, Japan. Radiation Network establishes an alert level for base ambient radiation at three consecutive minutes of the lesser of 100 CPM or 2.5 times uh, that particular station's baseline reading. The following are non-averaging or non-equalized readings of ambient radiation or CPM from Phoenix to Ensenada. These readings were all taken between January 25th and January 29th, 2015. These are all five minute clips of the readings which have been sped up so this video doesn't become too drawn out, but I think you'll get the picture. As you can see, these instantaneous counts are all ranging within the 30s to the low 50s. Now, as you can see, the readings here don't vary much from the readings taken in Arizona. However, um, they range from the low 30s to the 50s with spikes into the 80s.
Now, this doesn't make any sense, and I can't explain it, but the readings on Catalina Island, which are 22 miles west of LA in the Pacific Ocean, we're getting um, ambient counts from the mid-20s to the 30s with spikes only up into the 40s, low 40s. These readings are even lower than the ones taken in LA and the ones taken in Phoenix. Now these readings were taken at ship deck um, and they were ranging in the 20s and 30s CPM, only spiking to about 40. Now these readings on average were even lower than those taken on Catalina Island, yet we were 60 miles south southwest of LA out to sea when these were taken. These next readings blew me away. They're ranging in the 500 to 600 CPM range. This represents 16 to 17 times normal background counts, normal being around 35 CPM for the United States based on the Radiation Network's base counts on 2-26-2015. Now, without having equipment that can differentiate between ionizing radiation, the type coming from Fukushima, and non-ionizing radiation, the kind that occurs naturally in certain rocks and from the sun, I can explain to you the cause for these astronomical readings. There are two jet streams that flow across North America. The polar jet stream, the stronger of the two, is at an altitude of about 23,000 to 39,000 feet. And the subtropical jet stream, which is at an altitude of 33,000 to 52,000 feet, these fast-moving air currents can be up to three miles thick in areas. Now, in the plain, when these readings were taken at 37,000 feet, they were within parameters of both of these jet streams. Is the natural radiation from the sun that much stronger in flight, or are these readings a result of ionizing radiation being carried and collected by the jet stream? I'd be interested in what you think on this, and also why, as you travel west from Arizona and yet further west into the Pacific, these counts are going down, not up. Thank you for watching and please share this video.